How's it going everybody? Welcome to a brand new video and I hope you are having a wonderful day, especially with that Cardano rally that we've been seeing happening lately. A lot of interesting things coming together for Cardano, especially Cardano finding its bottom against Bitcoin. A lot of good things happening across the board um, as far as the development of this technology. And um, realistically, I mean, we are seeing Cardano, um, you, know, in, you know, innovating across the world, uh, but, you know, Mongolian government uh, and this this recent uh, this is really big I mean the fact that cryptocurrencies like Cardano um, have this on their watch uh, essentially this world stage they're leveraging um, some huge huge variables here because when we're talking about um, different areas of the world uh, such as Mongolia we're talking about a large large section of the internet uh, that is largely unaccounted for when we talk about just what people generally consider as far as competition goes uh, when we're talking about about what the modern people really think about. And the fact of the matter is that right now um, with cryptocurrency, we're witnessing a breaking down of a really a long time barrier that was holding back this sort of innovation. But uh, much like the internet connects people all around the world to be able to have this ability, uh, this uh, essentially this conversation opening up uh, and, and it really on this international level now, um, essentially, you know, Charles Hopkinson's uh, really taking us forward into uh, you know blockchain innovations that's going to really see a complete and total overhaul of the way that the, these different technologies have been um, you know acting up until this point. I mean cryptocurrency, sure, uh, very much still in its infantile stages. Uh, Cardano and it's uh, rank number ten currently. I mean the price standing at uh, you know seven cents um, now. But interesting day for Cardano. I mean certainly um, in the way it's standing up against all these other technologies. And I would say uh, you know certainly we have been seeing a pretty rock road when things come to like Bitcoin when it comes to uh, you're really across the board the way that we've been seeing things acting I mean uh, you know it's slight slight downward uh, but I mean and then upwards but really we've been tapering around that 200 uh, market cap you know 190 200 tends to be the trend in Bitcoin dominance standing where it is at 55.3 percent um, you know who would have ever thought that Bitcoin dominance would be uh, sustaining itself at that level I mean certainly we think back to certain people who made um, predictions that were along that time frame, you know, looking at 2018 uh, and where we are right now, you know, moving towards the basically the dawn of 2019. And uh, we haven't really seen very much of a huge shakeup as far as cryptocurrency is concerned when seen um, in contrast to what we were witnessing last year as far as cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and across the board, all the other ones at all time highs, you know, Bitcoin at $20,000. People were getting ready to sell their houses and, you know, buy some of this crap and then all of a sudden we saw uh, things sort of lost the gas you know a lot of different things happen um, you know on an international level and realistically uh, the value of cryptocurrency is very much um, subject to volatility because uh, it's still in a relatively speculative stage so that's one of the fundamental reasons why it's so interesting to see where these things are going to be taking us in the future but at the same time it's also very interesting to see how these technologies are um, you know competing amongst themselves so when we look at Cardano and we think about all the things that are possible when it comes to the Cardano blockchain, uh, um, the sky I say would be the limit. Uh, I mean Cardano now at the rank number 9 position, so I mean that's hilarious but I mean we'll get to that I'm sure you guys will get to that in the comments but uh, you know real time developments happening on this YouTube channel so um, you know whoever said that you didn't learn something from Phase Crypto, well that person probably didn't do their research um, but just remember I'm not your dad you know obviously this video is for entertainment educational purposes only um, but realistically I mean I want to talk about the same old crap that I always talk about on this channel the fact that um, fiat currency uh, you know the USD uh, it still has a stranglehold on the way that things operate I mean realistically to a certain extent people do incorporate uh, technology into their day-to-day -day usages of um, transactions and so forth uh, respectively I mean when people go to buy a uh, coffee they'll probably be using their visa card or something like that which does involve an interface with a similar uh, infrastructure that we're going to be seeing people operating with when the full switch to cryptocurrency finally takes place and it will take place we're going to see people buying a coffee using uh, cryptocurrency but the uh, question uh, might not be necessarily which cryptocurrency are people going to be using um, 
um, i.e. is somebody going to be walking into a Dunkin' Donuts and using Ethereum versus uh, Litecoin? The question actually might be which cryptos are working behind the scenes um, and really operating on a way, uh, uh, you know, an interesting wavelength. But yeah, so, you know, this is breaking news, you know, Cardano number nine position, um, you know, hilarious stuff happening. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we've talked about this on the channel before, you know, the fact that Cardano is just slightly climbing its way up, um, you know, in real time. Um, and it's definitely interesting to see these things as they've been, um, you know, building up uh, and ass essentially, you know, it's going to be a very big, um, you know, wake up call for people who've been sleeping on cryptocurrencies. But, you know, that's a topic for another video. So, so we definitely are witnessing a very historical time when it comes to Cardano, when it comes to all these cryptocurrency technologies and where we can be expecting them to go in the near future. And certainly when we see uh, platforms like Facebook coming to a decline, um, basically because they're forced to uh, compete with cryptocurrency technologies. Uh, and, you know, realistically in that sort of situation, what you're going to witness happening, uh, it's an adapt or die uh, situation for these old legacy corporations. Um, in that same sense, we definitely do see that happening with a lot of these old news uh, outlets that nobody really pays attention to anymore like when was the last time anybody read anything worth reading in the Washington Post for example all these different news articles are coming to a steady decline because nobody cares about news that was written to be read by millions of people um, people can find news articles that are very direct very localized and there's information sources that are very relevant and very um, in the know much more so um, than these huge corporations that attempt to communicate uh, these things that are you know realistically people have a right to know people have a right to information and that's one of the beautiful things about the internet um, realistically right now um, we're really seeing a very interesting thing happening uh, on the global stage as far as the conversation goes um, what we have to make a decision about as far as how the internet is going to function um, in the future and really this is a heated debate and I'd say that cryptocurrency is right at the center of it and you know wherever you stand as far as the um, way that these different platforms have been acting um, you know the fact that uh, Facebook thinks that they can make all these different decisions or you know Twitter thinks that they can uh, basically make it so that you can't use their uh, platform anymore if they don't like you uh, I mean for whatever reason it just doesn't make any sense at all um, basically uh, you know it's pretty funny to see that it's a pretty uh, interesting and significant tactical error um, because they really do open themselves up uh, because uh, realistically we could see technologies like Cardano, uh, the blockchain and all these things really do the job uh, that Twitter uh, claims to do and originally was created because the original function that Twitter provided um, but realistically we can see um, you know, a lot of those different platforms like Twitter and Facebook being fallen by the wayside um, as we see this uh, you know rising up of these new technologies like Cardano and the various different cryptocurrencies that are made possible um you know, through that sort of vision, through that sort of new, uh, you know, replacement of, uh, you know, all these different variables. So, uh, you know, we definitely are witnessing a pretty historical time as far as uh, all these different things are concerned. So, uh, you now it is interesting to see how, uh, you know, there is such a, a vast level of innovation that's been taking place. Um, you know, so we could definitely expect to be seeing, um, you know, a lot of further expansion upon the platform that's already been provided. Um, so, as far as, uh, you know, if you see anything, um, you know, out of the ordinary, it's definitely a great time to uh, speak up because there's people who are always willing to hear, um, you know, what you have to say. Um, and that's one of the great things about the internet as well is the fact that um, we can all pretty much do our research on our own. You, know, you don't have to listen to someone like me if you don't want to. That's really the point. You could go find another source. Um, you could go find a more authoritative source. And there's always different sources of information that are competing for your attention. Um, and that's the great thing about the internet now nowadays and that's the great thing about the marketplace of ideas um, it will naturally settle itself out and then the uh, best information will be uh, will reign supreme and essentially that's the beauty of the free marketplace of ideas um, when it comes down to it. and I think that that's where function um, is will always uh, triumph over uh, you know fashion you know whether or not the trend is people using uh, any of these old social media platforms it's realistically going to be the ones uh, that do the job that's going to fundamentally
mentally. Uh, you know, I think that's some sort of law of physics at some point. Hope you guys have enjoyed this content. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. And of course, uh, you guys can uh, make sure that you guys, uh, you know, contact us on uh, Twitter. Uh, now, if you guys feel so inclined to do so, you know, Twitter really is a great uh, resource when it comes to, uh, you know, all these different things. I mean, just checking out what they got on uh, Twitter as far as news for Cardano goes. Um, now, it is interesting to see, uh, you know, how these different developments go. I mean, I wonder how long it's going to take people on Twitter to realize that Cardano is now um, ranking number nine and uh, no longer ranking um, 10. But I mean, <laughs> that's uh, that's just uh, blatant, um, you know, just me being a YouTuber and just talking about all this crap. But anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, you guys can contact us on Snapchat or, you know, let us know what you thought in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.